And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. the story as well as I thought I should like I'm sure most of you out there have quit something in your life whether it be you quit a job you quit school you quit your man you quit your kids no I'm just kidding you don't want to quit you don't want to quit your kids now and it was something that you had to do because if you didn't do it you were gonna go fucking crazy I had to quit beauty school drop out never go back never even look back quit done finito a lot of beauty school I'm a proud I'm a proud beauty school dropout. I damn sure am. And I mean, I'm not really proud, but I'll explain that later on in the story, okay? Much about my beauty school experience and what I went through, my thoughts, my feelings, my opinions. Let me just do a disclaimer for everybody out there. From the Empire beauty school chain and you have an issue or problem with what I'm saying, or you went to school with me and have an issue or problem with what I'm saying. Yep, with my unmanicured nail, which I need to get done, but don't worry about that, unless you're paying for it. That's just one thing I got to say to you. I really don't care. I really don't. Like this story time is universal, because if you are out there, if you are young, I'm not gonna tell my age, but I'm a grown ass woman and if you are young and you're, you know, experiencing, do you want to go to college? Do you want to go to beauty school? This video is for you because you're definitely going to get a lot out of it. So I suggest if you are watching this video, watch it to the end, okay? Because I got a lot of insight into the beauty school industry. And if you haven't been to beauty school, you're thinking about it, this will definitely change your damn mind. 100% opinion, this is what I experienced. Everybody experience, everything is different. So I don't want to hear, oh, when I went, I don't give a damn about when we went. Because we're not the same person, okay? I experienced what I experienced, you experienced what you experienced, all right? So let me just get right into it. So he's been a big hair and makeup girl, as you can see. Oh, and by the way, this hair, I will be doing a review for it tomorrow. Today's Thursday, I'll be doing a review for it tomorrow on Friday, and it will probably be up by Saturday morning. Put all up, I was homeless at one point in my life two points in my life actually and um you know going to college and being homeless wasn't exactly ideal after i had like a year after i had like left college or whatever and i wasn't doing anything with myself i was pretty much just working and that was really it i, I was I on youtube i believe i was but i wasn't i'm not saying i'm a ginormous youtuber you know you have your small and you have your big and then i think you have your middle like almost about to get big, but still like riding the fence of small, but in the middle. I feel like I'm that. I'm not really doing much. I mean, I was doing some hair videos, but aside from that, I was just working, eating, watching TV, eating some more, you know, pretty much not doing a motherfucking thing with my life. I was always a hustler. I'm still a hustler. I always had a hustler's mentality. I just didn't have an effective way of getting what I wanted to get. Like. I would think of it, I would try, and it wouldn't come, but listen, anything that I try always succeeds, but at that time, I was just feeling really unmotivated, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself, I was getting older, I was like, you know what, I can't just sit around and just work, and it's not like, oh, well, that's your job, you work, I mean, you're living your life, but it wasn't exactly my set out job, you know what I mean, it was just like a job, like, I go, I get paid, I fucking leave, that was it, like, it wasn't nothing like, oh, I'm living my dream job, like, that's all, like, no, I needed some fulfillment. I need, I'm an Aries. 
And I don't know about you, but an Aries are very creative people. We need creativity. We live, we breathe, we feed off of creativity. Like, I have to always be doing something in my creative field, whether it's, I took theater in college. I took theater and then I transferred a business major to business major. <laughs> I took theater in college and then I, um, I switched my major to business management because, uh, bitch, I'm about my money and I'm about my business. So, you know, I was like, I'm not making no motherfucking money in theater. Ain't nobody paying me to be in a motherfucking Medea movie. So, a bitch got to transfer to um, business management. You know, that's when I was really thinking big. Like, I can't think small. Like, acting is cool, but let's be honest with you. Let's be 100% honest right now. That actor, it's hard. It's hard enough being an actor, period getting in Hollywood period, but being a black actor or actress, it's double times hard because they use the same fucking black actresses and actors in the same fucking movies. Don't, don't act like I'm lying, they sure do. You will see the same black girl playing the same. Gabrielle, you can play in so many damn movies, I'm tired. Carrie, you can name the black actors. Like, I can't name every white actor, I can't, because there's so many, but I can name pretty much all black actors. X that out, but anyway. You know, I always was a creative person, getting to the point, I was always a creative person, and I always had to work in a creative environment. So, I've always thought of beauty school, I've always saw like the fucking flyers of Empire every fucking where, like on the train, on the fucking bus, walking down the fucking street, on the computer, like I'm on the computer, I'm on, I'm on a website, looking TMZ, whatever the hell, Media Takeout, because everybody was on Media Takeout at the time, MediaTakeout.com, a fucking flyer of Empire is right next to what I'm looking at. I'm looking at T.I. and his baby mama breaking up, and I see Empire next to it, and I'm like, maybe this is a sign, but it wasn't no damn sign. It's called good marketing, and marketing your ass everywhere. They, have, they are great 100% at marketing. It was not no damn sign. It was a sign, I thought it was a sign because I saw the damn sign everywhere. But it wasn't really a sign. But I talked to my mom, I'm like, you know what, mom? And she's like, what? And I'm like, I think I wanna go to beauty school. And she's like, beauty school, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, because I really would like to learn how to do hair more. And I wanna do, I mean, I do makeup. My makeup was was good. Yeah, my makeup, I just had to practice on blending at the time, but my makeup was good. Um, and, you know, I wanna do makeup, and I feel like it would be a great place to meet people, because. I'm not a people person. I'm gonna keep it 150. I have a small group of friends. Something that my mom wanted me to do. It was always like college. It was not like beauty school. Like beauty school is like for losers. In her mind, like beauty school, like that's not school. Like you can learn how to do that shit on your own. Like you don't need school to teach you that. And she kind of was right. Go on their website and you fill out this form like that you're interested. And you, and you can fill out, I think either you want them to email you, excuse me, or either you want them to call you I don't like calls, I like emails. So I wanted them to email me a few information about, you know, M Empire Beauty School. I get a call every fucking day. These, they're literally calling me every day, every day. And not, they were calling me every day, like three times a fucking day. Morning, noon, and night. I'm waking up, they calling me. I'm at work, they calling me. I'm about to go to sleep, they calling me. They blowing, I'm in the shower, they calling me. They are blowing up my phone. I'm like, well, damn. Like, I just wanted some information on the email. Just tell me what the school's about, what you do, and I'll holler at you if I'm interested. Hey, they want to blow a bitch phone up and call me every day like they the motherfucking IRS. Or the bill collectors, like I owe them a bill. Really? That's what we gonna do? Okay. I'm back, cause I'm like, well damn, maybe this is a sign. That was the second fucking red flag. I was like, maybe this is a sign, like they're calling me, this is a sign of go to beauty school, do what you gotta do, do your thing. This is a sign right here. The Lord is calling me, the beauty school is my calling. You know, that's what I thought at the time, cause they keep fucking calling me. I thought I was the chosen one. I thought I was Neo up in this bitch. I thought I was the chosen one. I was the chosen one. I called them back and I'm like, hi, you know, I'm interested. I like your school, they're like, come, all right, sure, you can come down for a tour, blah, 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 and we'll sign you up, we'll do this, we'll talk to you, you can have an intake person, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, beauty school, like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so freaking excited, like, to go and to meet people and to see what this school's about, like, I gotta look my best, like, this is beauty school, like, and then the beauty, should I tell y'all where the beauty school is at? Should I be real penny right now? Let's say this. I'm not 
gonna tell you which street it was on, but you guys are probably gonna fucking realize where it was at if you live in New York City. So the beauty school that I went to was in the city. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not gonna say what borough. You gotta take it how you take it. If you're from New York City, when I say the city, you know what I'm talking about. Because in the city, I want to look my best. I'm like, I have to look fabulous. So I remember showing up with heels, okay? I remember getting so excited, my face was beat to perfection. I remember I had got this new wig and it was my first, it was my first video on my channel. My sensational wig, the best fucking synthetic wig you'll ever wear. And I 100% still stand behind that wig on. I remember I had on like a blazer, like a taupe blazer. And I remember it was like, I think it was fall. I, I signed up for Empire maybe April. I think it was around April. Right, and I started in May, but I think it was maybe April, maybe February, January, maybe March, March, April. So it was like fall in with some high, some knee highs and some nice, really chunky leather boots with like a crop top and a really high waist skirt. I just gave you guys a visual of a 90s outfit. Chunky cardigan, crop top shirt, high waist skirt, knee high socks with some leather boots and like a really long bag. Like that season was just a time to slay. So I was slaying. I up to where I need to get up at. And I go to the front desk and I'm like, hi, I'm here. I have an appointment with so-and-so. So I guess when you do enter Empire, you get an intake person who kind of like takes you in pretty much. And I got this guy, I'm not gonna say his, we're gonna call him Matt. So I got Matt and Matt was really nice. He had on a really nice suit, salt and pepper hair, kind of an old type of guy. You know, he was whatever. So he's like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm really excited. And we sit down and we're talking and he's talking to me about the school and what they offer and all of this stuff, right? So he's like, yeah, so at this at this location, we, we, we do hair and makeup, we have makeup courses, we have hair courses, these are all the courses that we have. You know, this school is really, really great. You're gonna learn a lot, a lot of people go here, you know, this and this and that, and really up in this school and talking about everything. So I was getting excited, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this school sounds ideal. He's like, a little bit about yourself, and I'm like, well, I am this and this age, you know, I. I am really interested in hair and makeup. It's something that I really want to do. It's something I really want to study. It's something I really want to do professionally. And right now, I'm trying to look for a job in like Sephora or something like that. He's like, I can get you a job in Sephora. I can get you into Sephora. Oh, okay. He's like, I can make a few calls. I know people at Sephora and we can get you into Sephora. And I'm like, okay, so that's great. Like, awesome. Like, I'm already about to go into school and I'm about to get another, a new job at my favorite makeup place that I've always shopped at. This is ideal. This is fucking perfect. I tell him that at the store I work at, at the time I was working at a really luxury retail store that's still, and I still kind of work there, um, that sells like really like Fendi purses, Prada purses, like really expensive colognes and perfumes. Like I worked at one of those stores. So I was telling him where I worked and he was like, oh, well, can you, can you get me this perfume? That's another red flag. And I'm like, get you a perfume, like I don't even know you like that. He's like, yeah, well, if you just buy the perfume, I'll pay you back and then bring the perfume with you the next time you come. So that was a red flag, like my nigga, I don't fucking know you. I'm not buying you no fucking perfume. Just because you said you was gonna get me into Sephora, that don't mean that I gotta buy you for, I don't know you like that, homie. I don't know what you thought this was, but I don't know you like that. But let me just ignore that. I'm like, oh sure, yeah, I'll buy it for you and I'll bring it in. You know, trying to be nice because I want to get into school. So I'm like, okay, yeah. So after I talk about myself, I'll also mention the fact that I have a YouTube channel. Big fucking mistake. Big mistake. Like, really? Wow, that's so cool. And he was just being really extra. Like, I didn't know if he was mocking me or being serious. Because after that, we got up, we took a tour of the school. And when I saw the school, I was like, and I saw the students, it just didn't add up. I'm thinking, you know, gorgeous people, makeup, beat, faces, beat, everything. I mean, the
with flats on. Socks, white socks. Socks with flats on. There was a lot of, it just didn't look like what I imagined it to be. I think like I expected everybody was just kind of like, I don't know, hair was not laid, tracks was showing, new growth was showing, wigs wasn't on properly, faces were definitely not beat. Like, I don't even think I really seen anybody with like a drip of makeup when I first went to tour the school. I didn't see anybody with makeup. Like, I felt overdressed. Like, I was looking at everybody like, I feel fucking overdressed. Like, here I am with face beat, hair down to my back, blazer, heels, ripped jeans, crop top, looking great, and I'm just looking around and nobody's wearing no makeup. Everybody's hair is like in a bun, new world, bad weave. It just looked really bad. And then I would say like about 90%, I just saw mostly black girls. I didn't really see a lot of diversity. It was mostly black girls. That's what I mostly saw when I first went, which is not a problem, but you know, I would like diversity. And in the city, I thought since it was in the city, guys, that it would be a ton of diversity, like white people, Hispanic girls, like black guys, just diversity. And I didn't really see that when I first took the tour. Or we sit down and so when we're on the tour, he's telling everybody, like we go to, we stop at each class, he's literally like telling everybody, oh my gosh, she's on YouTube and she has a lot of subscribers. She's on YouTube, she has a lot of subscribers. Wow, like literally y'all telling every class we went by that I was a YouTuber and that I had a lot of subscribers. It wasn't a bad feeling. I wasn't like, oh my gosh. Like, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, you damn right. Like, your bitch is on YouTube and your bitch got some good subscribers. You know, I was kind of feeling myself a little bit. Like, I was a little celebrity up in the bitch. Like, he was telling everybody, it just, he was really trying hard to get me in that school, y'all. He was trying his hardest. He was kissing my ass. Kissing it. Like, literally saying everything I wanted to hear. Like, he was saying everything a guy tells a girl on the first date when he want to sleep with her. Everything. I love your hair. Beautiful. You know, you look like my wife. Like, I even told him where I was from, which is Belize, and he told me that his wife was from Belize. Really? Really? Stop fucking lying. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe she could have been, but at that point, he was just telling me everything that I wanted to hear. He was agreeing with everything I was saying. He was complimenting me. He was telling everybody I was a YouTuber. He was telling me how fabulous I am and how, you know, that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make it big and I'm gonna be a big star and just take out financial aid. It'll pay for everything and I'm good to go. No, no, no. Me that not only do I get financial aid, but I have to take out an additional loan. What happened? I gotta take out what? I gotta take out who? I gotta, I gotta take out another loan? For real? Why? Why? How? Why? I gotta take another loan. He's like, yeah, you gotta take out another loan because the school is this amount of money and financial aid only, only covers X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, oh gosh, like I already took out a loan in college. I don't want to take out another loan and be more in debt, but I guess so. I guess fucking so. So I'm like, all right, you know what? He sold me. He's like, are you sure you want to do this? Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, yes. So because I had a job, I decided to do full-time. I wanted to hurry up and get my license. So I did the full-time thing where I was full-time all the time. I was going to start at 9 o'clock a.m. and I was going to get out at 5 o'clock p.m. So I didn't think it would be a big deal. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my license and then I'm going to quit the piece of shit job I have and work in the beauty industry. That's what I thought. I was ready for the beauty world. Yeah. So I thought. Story times I can tell you about this shit that happened in that school while I was there, but I'm not going to make this long. I'm just going to get to the point. This is just my experience in beauty school. We had a shampoo hair. We all like stand around the shampoo area. We was learning how to shampoo hair. Um, another thing I know, this lady that I first seen, she was kind of ratchet and she was kind of loud and kind of extra. And she wasn't our teacher. Everybody kept talking about our teacher. And her, let's call her Lacey. Miss Lacey. How you doing, Miss Lacey? How you doing? Um, Miss Lacey. So everybody was talking about Miss Lacey, how Miss Lacey stopped going to school because Miss Lacey was about to have a fight with one of the students in the school and she was about to get beat up or she did have a fight or she was or some girl wants to fight her. Some really hot ghetto mess. And I'm like, who is this Miss Lacey person and when is she coming? Because that was our teacher. Say she played favorites with a lot of people and me and my other friend weren't one of them. She was very rude and she was high all the fucking time. Like, how are you coming to a beauty school high? She was always high. Did I learn 
in that beauty school? I don't think I did. I didn't learn shit in Empire Beauty School. Shit. Nothing. Not. Okay? All the teachers, to me, didn't have talent, didn't really show me anything. Miss Lacey was a hot ass mess. Okay? She was always high, and I know she was high, because she always talked about smoking. This is how she used to talk, y'all. So what you gonna do today? How you doing? Sometimes she was, and it was weird, her attitude was up and down. She was very phony. She was very... She was messy. She would go and talk shit about other students to students that she knew about. She had drama surrounded around her. Everybody loved Miss Lacey. Everybody would come to Miss Lacey's class. Y'all, I'm talking about when we're trying to learn about hair, people will come in her class. Hey, Miss Lacey, how you doing? Girl, let me tell you about my boyfriend. Let me tell you about my baby father. Let me tell you about my husband. Let me tell you about my kids. Y'all. I'm trying to learn how to cut a fucking asymmetrical bob up in this bitch. I'm watching this. I'm trying to learn how to how to how to cut a bob. And you got this ghetto ass girl just running in the classroom talking about this, this, and that. Very phony. She would talk about the students, keep key with the students, about the other students, like like a child. Like you're a grown fucking woman. And she worked with a lot of celebrities. This, this bitch worked with this Aaliyah. Okay? Aaliyah, Biggie, Faith, probably all them other celebrities. And the fact that she was acting just so unprofessional just was a real big turnoff to me. Like, she would try to be friends with the students, and it's like, you cannot be a friend when you old as fuck and they not your age. You be these girls' friends and talk about them. And I remember her asking me one time, like, do you date? Are you dating anybody? Like, bitch, that's not your fucking business if I fucking date or not. Why are you asking me my personal business? Like, we're not friends. You're a teacher and I'm a student. I'm here to learn about hair. I'm not here to talk about who I'm fucking. They're fucking annoying. Like, they used to do little petty things like that. Like, just little petty things in that school. It was just full of shade and pettiness in that school. Not bluntly, like, I don't like you, bitch. But just, like, shade and pettiness. That school was just, it wasn't for me. Like, it was just a lot of shady pettiness. It was just really horrible experience. Like, getting up to go to that school every day was just horrible for me. Like, even the fucking dean at the school that I went to was a fucking weirdo. No makeup courses, none. When I first applied to the school, I was told that there was makeup. Maybe they, at that time they stopped it, but there was no makeup. There was no makeup courses. It was strictly hair. No makeup at all. Like, how the fuck do you have a beauty school with no makeup class? Cut alone or not, I still have to pay that money back. And y'all lied to me. You told me there was gonna be a makeup course and there's no fucking makeup course. You're scammers. You're a scam. You're fucking liars. Cause you lied to me and made it seem like it was gonna be, I was gonna learn makeup and get my license. And I wasn't, there was no makeup at all. That's why none of them bitches had makeup on their face. Cause there was no makeup class. If there was a makeup class, everybody's face would have been done up to perfection. There was no makeup class. It was only hair. And after a while, honestly doing hair, this is just my own personal thing. After doing hair, I realized I don't like doing hair on other people. Like when I finally graduated to a senior and I was on the floor, I think I did at least two clients. That was it. And it was fucking horrible. They were old, they were miserable, they were nasty. Oh, he do it like this. Oh, the water's too cold. Oh, the water's too hot. Oh, oh, you're tangling my hair. Oh. If you want to get your old ass hair done, I don't even want to say what I want to think right now. But that I still talk to to this day, that I'm still cool with. And if you're watching that video, hey girl, hey. You know, it was some girls some guys that I liked and some of them I blocked their asses. I don't want nothing to do with them. Don't contact me. Don't watch me. Don't. You can follow me on social media, but I'm not following you back. Like, I'm not interested. The same guy that it took me into the school, the same one that was raving about how fabulous I am and how I'm going to be a big star and I'm a YouTuber and I'm fabulous and everybody follow me on YouTube. Everybody, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. That guy, the day that he untook me, y'all, this the first day that I started the, the, the school, he never said two words to me after that. Never. That man will look right in my fucking face and not say nothing to me. I would see a man every morning, mostly every morning, smoking a cigarette outside of the school. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, well, if he's not gonna talk to you, why don't you say something to him? There was a few, there was actually one time that I said, hey Mr. Mr. Um, what did that call him? Hey Matt. Hey, Mr. Matt, whatever the fuck I called him in the beginning. How are you? How's it? Oh, hey, good. Ew. Annoying him. This is not the same 
you got that, that signed me up into school, the guy that wanted me to get into school so fucking mad. And after that, he ain't say no, nothing to me. He ain't say two words to me. I was seen in the elevator, he would ignore me, walk past me. And then like when I started to get up in the school, I would see him taking around other people in the school. And I would just look at them like, G -g girl, if you only knew that this motherfucker is a phony scammer and just wants your money. Nothing else to me, he was so rude, didn't say nothing to me, didn't talk to me. And it was just so weird. Like my friend would always tell me like he was staring at you or when you walk past, he was staring at you. Like he would stare at me, but not talk to me. Like my nigga, if you're fucking creepy. This experience was horrible. I ultimately ended up dropping out of beauty school and I've had enough. And it was basically because it was this one lady that used to harass my friend and I and kind of like harass us. Like when we're on the floor, oh, you can't wear this or oh, you're late or oh, you're not doing this or oh, you're not doing that or oh, you take a client or you can't go to lunch. Like telling me that I can't go eat my food that I haven't eaten all day. Mind you, lunch was probably like at two o'clock. Lunch was like one o'clock, two o'clock. And we were there since nine o'clock, all right? You're telling me I can't go eat lunch because I need to take another client? I'm not taking no more fucking clients. I'm going the fuck to lunch to eat before I pass out in this bitch. She was really testing me and she was testing my patience. And I seriously felt my hands around this old ass lady's neck because she was harassing my friend and I. Writing us up, we're gonna write you up because you're not doing this, you're not doing that. And just being really petty and nasty for no reason at all. You know what I mean? And I couldn't take it anymore. It was. Everybody harassed me and my friends, everybody, because we were like the two glam girls of the school. We always had our face beat, we always had our makeup done, we always had our hair done, everything was always done, and it wasn't something where I was like, oh, I'm trying to look better than everybody in the school. I did look better than everybody in the school. It wasn't something I was trying to do. It was something that was what it was. Me beating my face and making sure my nails is done and my hair done shouldn't be an issue for anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not being mean to anybody. I'm just looking good. I'm probably in so much fucking debt because I have money that I took out from my college and then I have money that I took out from beauty school. So I'm in debt right now, y'all, to be honest with you. And it just sucks that I'm in debt and I didn't even get a license or anything. Like, I'm back at square fucking one. My beauty school experience, you guys, that's what I experienced, that's what I went through. Just comment below on your thoughts and opinions. Did you go through anything crazy in beauty school? I will have a review on this hair soon. Well then, stay fabulous, you dolls. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next video with this fabulous purple hair review. Bye.